benefit because then you'd be saluting the sun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna call your mother. She'd approve of these puns. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's where it comes from. Actually, it comes it from It all my starts father. in the household. Yep, that's where it starts from. <laughs> all right, so hopefully we can get started. We got uh, Rob Samus. Uh, for the same reason that I said that Aquatic and Zenodo would be a disgusting team for coverage. Yep. Applies to Rob and Samus. So I heard you like approaching. Be a shame if we had a wall of projectiles. Uh, I'm sure in disadvantage. That's where they're. That's where they're going to be a little bit more lackluster. But yep. I'm expecting uh, Samus to be the stock tank, especially for charge shot. Yeah. Uh, it can be scary pretty much all times. Yep. Right now, Quack doing everything he can to keep these two separated. It's always a weird thing when you have the 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one layout between the players rather than like 1-2-1 one, one, as far as where they're positioned on the stage. Right. Because when you got to worry about somebody in front of you and behind you, it's definitely a lot more stressful. There's a few different moves here that I would expect to be uh, pretty scary. If I see any kind of 2v1 situation, yep. uh, Samus and Rob probably convert off each other pretty well. Uh, I don't know how well Fox and Peach convert going both ways, but I'm sure a lot of uh, Fox's uh, moves are converting to ones. Yep, but Ryoku managing to take off the first stock there, and Bluebeard trying to take off the second stock, but good DI from Zenodo keeping himself alive. That's definitely going to be something that's going to give Samus some trouble, just having to float out there against Peach, because Peach can definitely last out as long as you can as Samus, so. Right. Yeah. Also, uh, they're both, both the uh, projectile characters are going to have careful of aquatic um, on stage, because yep. I'm sure you can uh, reflect at most times. But on stage, aquatic is going to be the one getting brutalized. I mean, yep. Zenodo has to play the stock. Yeah, and there goes the first stock off of Zenodo, and I mean, and the yeah. time it took them to take the one off Zenodo, we've seen two go off of Aquatic here. But Red Team's still down a stock. Uh, aquatic on his last. I mean, it was in a very important situation. Yep. So, with both how well uh, Blue Bear does in staying alive and how Ryoku doesn't have to commit as much. Oh my god! That is a lot of shield pressure. Yeah, I mean, not as not so much anymore as it would have been earlier in the game. Yep. But uh, it definitely is annoying to try to have to parry both. Rob and Samson's charge shot. Sure. Getting hit by that down arm rotor. Gonna be able to take off that stock, so should see the spare stock. And now red team both on their last stocks here. Indeed. And Zeno's at 81 because Aquatic had to take uh, Zeno's stock, so he didn't get a brush. Use and I'm pretty sure both is there just to kill uh, Zeno relatively early. Yep. Again, Sam is still living so long here. Although, a comeback, you know, is definitely on the table with how uh, how much, you know, damage both these characters do in just a short burst of time. Yeah, they definitely have good damage output, high damage combos, but just barely missing the ledge is not going to be what they need in order to get those combos going. Yeah, now this is going to be a very tough position. Uh, if, if Aquatic is put in the air or put off stage at all, it's pretty much, oh my god. Oh. How is he still alive? Oh, manages to sneak past the fair there. Oh, the shield actually saving him from the smash, but still getting killed right after. Yeah, although that was interesting. Um, I don't know how he got that up smash off, but it, it worked. It yeah. doesn't matter. Yep. So, uh, we have Ryoku and Boo Bear up a game. Uh, I mean, again, another seasoned West Michigan team. Yep. You know, uh, Aquatic and Zenodo, both really good players. Yep. And generally, Aquatic plays a lot of doubles, and Zenodo's always been a solid double partner to have. Uh, but I've never seen them team, at least nowhere near as much as these two, uh, Ryoku and Boo Bear. Right, Boo Bear. right. That's definitely something that West Michigan has going from just oh, yeah. the amount of oh, yeah. doubles that they play. It's definitely one of their more favorite pastimes. 
So going into game two here, see if Zenodo and Aquatic can figure out an answer to this stage control that Boo Bear and Ryoko have been exhibiting. Yeah, I would say uh, Palatine is probably going to need a more solid doubles op option yep. here, <laughs> especially for their team. I mean, just look at that combo. Both of them racking up some decent percent there. Right, I mean, you got a big body for one. That Nair already merges that. Yep. And then pretty much anything is Aquatic. Once both Boo Bear and Ryoku hit like the 40, 50 percent range, really, and you know right where they're at, yep. uh, the conversions are going to be much easier from there for uh, Aquatic yep. and Zenodo. Managing to separate them a little bit here. Red Team getting some good stage control going right now. Yeah. Ryoku, Aquatic in a very tough position here. Oh, Ryoku just getting a little bit too antsy there, letting his charge shot off too early. It, it's. I would say it's fine to play reactive and double still, but yep. scary. Because you have to pay attention to so much, yep. it's trying to anticipate the time period. So far, this switch to Palutena has definitely been yeah. paying off. I mean, it's going to help get the momentum early on by dealing the initial damage. Yep. Oh, fortune team hit. That, that was planned. Uh, Sonoto yep. back here to the <laughs> and all set up for the up air. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just got to hit your opponent to send them to where they need to be. I think Aquatic just vanished. Yeah. I mean, uh, good Robert Samus, it'll do that. Again, Zeno's going to be playing the stock tank. Uh, Boomer and Ryoko, I've noticed they've been, they've been pretty even in the way that they're uh, taking damage and losing stocks. Yep. So when you have two stock tanks and they're both you know, killing you, uh, that is like the two worst things to have you know, against you. I like that conversion out of Aquatics. He held that jab for longer than he needed to, just so that way he could keep Ryoku with him. So that way when Boo Bear went to smash attack, Aquatic was able to react first because right. he had lower damage. Yeah, uh, which is super smart. I, I like that too. Zero is that one thing right now. The way that people survive doubles is just amazing. Yeah, I mean, especially with having twice the amount of tax line. That was, yeah, at that point, that was not going to be technical, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I would hope it wouldn't be technical because you could be living to some absurd percents if that was the case. With that up air almost taking uh, Ryoku out from Aquatic. All right, things just started looking very hectic. Yep. Uh, and, and in doubles, that can make it very hard to actually keep track of. Yep. Um, but. Moral of the story here, uh, Palantir and Fox, gross team. Yeah. They should keep doing it. Because I feel like one of the big differences compared to Peach Fox is that Peach and Fox, for the most part, send characters horizontally with a lot of their setup moves, especially for Peach. So Fox couldn't really capitalize on those up airs that he right. likes to use. But Plus, with Palutena, it's more of a upwards direction that she sends opponents. I think the more important part is more so the coverage that they now have together, especially with Palutena. True. Uh, not really having to rely on the coverage from uh, her party. She's more of like a versatile character kind of like Mario. If Boo Bear does this, he's a legend. Yeah. I mean, he'd have to take off oh my God. three more stocks while still keeping his right now. I mean, he's not dead yet, and it's been at least a minute. Yep. And still living even after that back here. Um, yeah, 150, uh, not much. It's not going to take much to kill him now. No. Yeah. One there is all it takes. Yeah. I want to see if there's, like, I, I, I wouldn't think there's a character switch between a Ryoko and Blue Bear. Right. Because um, I feel like this is, like, a pretty set-in-stone team. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's a no-no, such as off Palatina, I'm sure the part would be like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it definitely felt like they started running them over towards the end of that game. They just really yeah. started clicking, getting their it, combos in sync. It's the coverage that they were providing each other as well as the momentum, uh, especially right, since right. when you're playing characters that cover options well, and you're players who cover options well. And yep. in doubles, those two characters accentuate the coverage pretty well. Exactly. I'd say that's a that, that's a very deadly uh, yeah. recipe. So for Ryoku and Boo Bear, it's going to be how do they end up cracking that coverage that Zenodo and 
I, I'd say they probably play down. more defensively. Um, you know, try to focus on maintaining stage control, uh, less combos, more stage control. Right. Uh, really abusing Fox off stage and getting, instead of do more unsafe things just to, uh, in his attempt to keep up pressure or deal damage. Uh, the real the real hard part about this is I think that Rob struggles versus Palatine. Yeah, I mean, uh, being that big body, it's just so easy to get caught up in the Palatina combos. And there's not really a good move that Rob has to contest that because all the aerials just feel like they take so long to come out that yeah. you can't really squeeze them in to get yourself out. And plus with both of them having a reflect, I mean, Palatina's reflector is more of a non-factor. Yeah. But that makes it hard for Ryoku to do what he normally probably do very well. Yeah. And that's using those projectiles to help reinforce Sam's ability as a stock tank. Exactly. Th they're not able to play as elusively as they probably normally oh, would. Yeah. So, let's see. Blue Bear Pokemon training? Okay. Uh, okay. I'd actually say that's probably uh, a pretty good option. Now, oh, I, did not ball the wolf. I did not expect the wolf, but yeah. uh, Pokemon Trainer, I, I'm assuming, would be a pretty solid uh, option to play a safe doubles game. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how aggressive Blue Bear's going to play. I more so expect uh, coverage from the yeah. You know, being able to bounce between the two different players. Yep. And not only that, just being able to switch between the Pokemon to provide what the team needs at the time. So if you need the kill power, the defensive zoning, or just that rapid damage, you can just switch between the three Pokemon. Or just a better matchup, you know, is the idea here, instead of Rob versus Palatina. True. I mean, the percentages have definitely been a lot more even this time around. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was, that was that's a lot of damage. Do you have a box of back here by Palatina? Very even, now nobody's hitting anybody really. Yeah, we're definitely seeing the pace of the match get slowed down here. That's definitely been helping out Blue Bear and Ryoku because that's one of the things you were saying that they needed to do, just play that defensive style See? and take control. The way that Blue Bear covered aquatic moving back stage with Firefox, nearly killed him. Manages to catch both of them with that bear. That was, that was a good uh, uh, water gun. Yeah. Keeping and quadding off stage. They're doing exactly what I figured that they'd have to do, is just abuse the quadding and try to take away what Zenodo was able to do so well in the previous game. There you go. So, Boo Bear and Aquatic, both the first ones to lose their stocks, but Zenodo not too far behind. That's very unfortunate. Uh, Ryoku actually threw Aquatic into Zenodo's Nair. And that is something you're yeah. going to have to be careful of. If, if you can abuse that, uh, forcing someone who has such a large you know, hitbox uh, just doing a neutral yep. and using it against their own team, that, that's actually uh, pretty brutal. Yeah, and that's definitely one of the things that you have to keep in mind as far as what's going on with your teammates. So are you able to use a long last move like that or might your opponent have an opportunity to capitalize on it? Dash tank take him out. Uh, now we got uh, three to five. I mean, Goku's uh, pretty much one hit. You know, Zeno's getting there. Uh, Quark on a fresh stock. Yeah, and honestly, but Ryoko's been doing a good job staying alive with Wolf. I figure he'd, he'd have the same weaknesses that Aquatic had in the previous game. How yep. uh, exploitable Fox can be in doubles. Exactly. Like, I, I definitely feel like Fox is a class cannon in doubles. And one, one of the, you know, the more volatile uh, doubles characters. Yeah, I mean, if you can keep him on the stage, he'll definitely crank out the damage in stocks. Right. But you throw him off stage, it just takes a while for him to get back. This is what I was talking about before. Both Blue Bear and Ryoku act kind of as stock tanks. I mean, Blue Bear is on his second stock, you know, uh, but it took forever to get to go. Yep. And still, Blue Bear living here 171%. Yeah. Very powerful stock. There we go. Finally taken off that stock. So, three two stocks to two. Yep. Very, very intense game for here. Uh, 
I, I, I definitely feel like Aquatic and Zenodo, they're definitely, you know, at any moment, can turn the game around. Oh, that was a very weird uh, explosive play. Yeah, I mean, the challenge is just creating those openings because with the switches off of Samus and Rob, they definitely have a lot more mobility to contend with now. So it's harder to pin down the blue team in order to get those kills. Getting clipped by the Firefox, so I'm gonna take Nice two piece coming from Zenodo and Aquatic. I'm actually landing on the stage there. So all every everybody here. Is that both? Oh of my them? god. That was both of them. Oh my god. <laughs> Then it was not a good time to be using explosive flame. I was just about to say, uh, everybody was able to die to something. Yep. And I wasn't wrong. I mean, both Zenodo and Aquatic died. Uh, yeah. Thanks to uh, Boo Bear's 